Yes, Taylor. Because did you write that down? Because that's what I want you to be doing for right now. Okay. So you have C D E and C D A. Let's go and take a look at another example. Remember, adjacent angles share the same vertex and share the same side. So we can look at this and we can say angle B F D and angle B F C. The main important thing, remember when we're naming angles, the vertex is the first letter, middle letter, or last letter. Does anybody remember? What is the vertex? It's the middle number, right? So therefore, to know that these are adjacent, I know that those middle ones are going to have to be exactly the same. Does that kind of make sense? Because they have to share a vertex. They have to share that same vertex. The next thing I want to look at is they have to share a same side. Now remember, a, um, an angle is made up of two sides. So therefore, you guys can see they, have, they share the same side what? Which, what side do they share? I underlined it. BF, right? Yes. I don't know. Let's go and take a look. So F to G to H, right? So you're saying angle F, G, H to what angle? E, G, H. E, G, H. So let's go and take a look. Do they share the same vertex? Yes. And the vertex is? G. Very good. Do they share a common side? And that common side is GH. Right? G to H. So yeah, they care share a common side. And they can share a common vertex. So therefore, they are adjacent. All right, there's a lot of different examples up here, guys, that we could go over. All right, I don't I don't want to go over all of them. I just want to kind of move through. All right. Um,